Local support for News 6 has been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV. Hi, I'm Mike Lynn from Gateway Middle School. Welcome to News 6. With today's first story, here's Ashley Kramer. For our first story today, News 6 visited Union School, where we learned about the history of the school. Here's Andy Sager with the story. Thanks, Ashley. Hi, I'm Andy Sager, and I'm here with Mrs. Kandick, the principal of Union School. What is a principal, and what are your responsibilities? Well, a principal has a lot of jobs, and every day is different in the life of a principal. But my main job is making sure that the kids in our school are happy and they're learning. What makes Union different from the other schools? We're a school of tomorrow as well as a school of yesterday. We have, we're really into technology. We have a neat computer lab, and our teachers and students are working with other forms of technology as well. So we think that makes us unique. Speaking of technology, are your students involved in any kind of technology? Yes, we're very active in technology. We um, have a real nice computer lab with Apple II GS computers, and that's equipped to hold a class. Um, and the classrooms have computers in them as well, usually just one or two. What's your name? Dana Miller. What do you think of the computer program here at Union School? I think it's great, and I like to do the fractions, and I think it's sometimes hard, but it can be fun, too. Is Union the only elementary school in Maumee? Union is one of four elementary buildings here in Maumee. What are the grades and how many students do you have here at Union School? Our grades begin with kindergarten and they go all the way through fifth grade. And right now we have about 315 students. What's your name? Jennifer Newby. What exactly are you doing with these blocks? We're just using them to make fractions and patterns and they make learning fun. If children are our future, Mrs. Kendrick, what is your message to them? They have to be open to change and really willing to learn all the time. Well, this is a marvelous school. Thank you for letting us come. Andy, I'm so glad. It was nice working with you, and it was great to have Mrs. Taylor's class here to see the school and study a little bit about local history. Thank you for coming. Back to the studio. Today's News 6 is produced by the 6th grade class of Gateway Middle School. It's Gateway Middle School is located in Maumee, Ohio, which is southwest of Toledo, Ohio, and has a population of about 17,561. For our next story, today Sarah Heck visited Steve Pocken, who as of last month took office as the new mayor of Maumee. Thanks, Heather. Hi, I'm Sarah Hack. We're at the mayor's office. The new mayor, Steve Popkin. Let's go inside and meet him. Hi, Mr. Mayor. Hi, Sarah. When you were growing up, did you ever think you'd become mayor of Mommy? Well, that's a funny question because I grew up around politics. Uh, my great 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 uncle John Pawkin was mayor in 1915 of Maumee and my father served on city council several of my relatives served on city council so I'm the second Pawkin to be mayor uh, in Maumee so I guess you could say even though it probably wasn't something I was thinking about while I was growing up uh, politics and government was on my mind. What are your goals as mayor of Maumee? Well I have several goals as mayor as you know I spent about nine years on the city council and we have been doing a lot of things through that entire time but some of the things I'd like to see is the uh, Uptown Commercial District here needs to be continued to be revitalized because that's good for everybody in the community. We also need to reestablish our, our priorities with our recreation program, which affects all of our uh, citizens, both the young and the old. And those are two of the major things I'd like to see get underway. May we have a tour of the building? Certainly. Well, 
Why should citizens become involved with politics? Without participating in the process, then you basically, you know, give up on, on uh, your community involvement. So you really have to. How long is your term? Mayor serves a two-year term, ordinarily. Is it good to be mayor? This is the greatest job in the world. What is your message to the youth? For instance, the sixth grade class of Gateway Middle School. Go to college. Uh, learn something. Get an education. Thank you for the interview and the tour. I wish you good luck on your term in office and your re-election. Well, thank you and thank your classmates for coming over to visit us today. Now back to the studio. Watching professional sporting events are a favorite recreational activity for many people. Today's Kids View question asked the 6th graders at Gateway Middle School what sport they would play if given the opportunity. Hi, I'm Drew Adamski here today's Kids View question. If you could play in any professional sport, what sport would you play in and why? If I could play any professional sport, it would be baseball because you get to play in the field of bat. I'd play basketball because it's fun and great exercise. The sport I would play is volleyball because it's a fun sport to play and I'm good at it. If I could play any professional sport, I would play football because of the contact. For our last story today, News 6 spoke with Kathleen Gardner, who is the caretaker of the Ohio Baseball Hall of Fame. Here's Susan Maynard with a story. Thanks, Ben. I'm Susan Maynard with Kathy Gardner, the caretaker of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Are, is this the National Baseball Hall of Fame? No, this is the Ohio Baseball Hall of Fame. We focus on Ohioans who have played baseball. And played baseball and been in the main, been managers and executives in, for an Ohio team. How can somebody be inducted? Well, we have a board of selectors who determine eligibility. And as I said, um, you're eligible if you're affiliated with an Ohio team or you're native Ohioan. Then once your eligibility is determined, um, a ballots are sent out to sportscasters from out throughout Ohio, and then the, the top um, selections are inducted in our induction ceremonies in August. When was the museum established? In 1975, the museum was originated, and it was originally called the Cy Young Museum. It was it was an, it was established to honor Cy Young, who's the winningest pitcher in Major League Baseball. And then in 1976, they changed the name to the Ohio Baseball Hall of Fame to honor all Ohioans. How do you get hands on the souvenirs? Well, 90% of the objects on display at the Ohio Baseball Hall of Fame belong to one individual, and his name is Thomas Aiken from Shaker Heights, Ohio. The other 10% are on loan to us from individuals from out the state, and as well as some um, some of Ohio's baseball teams. Yes, so this is you have hands for it? Yeah. Probably Johnny Bench, who used to catch for the Cincinnati Reds. How can baseball be important to kids? I think it's, it's a way of um, drawing people together. In, in today's world where there's so much stress on the negative and differences in people, this is one way for people to come together and um, play for a team or even just root for a, their favorite team or player. Thank you, Kathy. You have a lot of great stuff here. Thank you for your time. Well, thanks for coming. You can come back anytime. Back to WBGU. Thank you for joining us today. Tune in next week when Kenton Mill School visits News 6. Have a great day. for New 6 has been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV.